history of Bob's Red Mill started in 1978 with Bob and Charlie Moore. They were looking for uh, healthier eating ways and making sure that everyone else had access to it. Our purpose is to inspire joy with wholesome foods, whether it's with breakfast cereals and, and flours and baking. Bob's Red Mill has a, a vision to double the number of people eating Bob's Red Mill by 2030, and automation helps us get to that goal. Reasons Bob Red Mill looked into collaborative is because we wanted to bring more automation to our production floor and collaborative fits in that window between uh, industrial robots and hand palletizing. Where you can have a little bit more real estate used up but still be able to be in a small footprint. We like the URs because of the simplicity, the module it comes with, the, the out of the box kind of features and its track record. The UR20 adds uh, payload capacity to allow us to double pick our cases to meet production rates. Our pallets are roughly 81 inches tall. The UR20's reach uh, eliminates the seventh axis so we don't have to elevate the robot arm that eats into our rate. Now can just move into position much more quickly. Columbia Oak was really excited to get the R20. We had prepped our solution, you know, we had a palletizing cell pre-engineered and ready for the arm. And once we got the arm, it was really great because it was really easy to um, incorporate and set up and deploy. We unboxed and implemented in our solution in about a day and a half. So training with the Mini Pal Plus and the UR20 is really pretty simple. Uh, there's a teach pendant and there's a couple of things to learn as far as operating and pattern design and but it's pretty seamless. Compared to an industrial robot, the UR20 uh, implementation is much quicker. When I first saw the UR20, it was surprising to me. It's big. <laughs> the UR20 is big. And it added confidence. The training is fairly easy and still well thought out. Anyone from the operator level can le learn how to operate a universal robot. We were able to get all four shifts of the maintenance team trained. It took roughly 45 minutes to an hour to get them trained through a multitude of scenarios. We do a lot of changeovers. Today we packaging powders, and we can also package granular products as well. We anticipate hundreds and hundreds of different changeovers with, with a palletizer system like this. The employees here at Bob's Rimmel are really excited to see uh, this uh, palletizing technology come to their production line. As an employee-owned uh, company, automation helps us grow the business and keep our profits with profit sharing, as well as reducing the number of injuries and making sure everyone goes home safely. We can now do more of a value-added task versus something that's boring.